Will you do it for a Scooby snack? Yeah, you will? Seriously, you guys, these Scooby snacks, he loves them. He's so excited for it. Scooby snack will give you beef flavor since it's something you haven't had before. Zoinks! Here you go. Good dog. Good morning, guys. Guess what? I thought I would try this gag gift that I bought. The canine foam bath. Basically, you stick his paw inside of this hole and shake it up. Finally, if you agree, if after that, I'll give you a Scooby snack. A Scooby snack? This seems like something that you would buy from a kid's science fair that someone made up. Good dog. Does it fit? Good dog, Bentley. Look at a Scooby snack. What flavor do you want? Chicken, beef, pizza, pizza, Scooby snack. Aaron is out with Bentley right now, taking him for a walk at the park, and guess what? He was like, guess what's on? And I was like, what? And he was like, the sprinklers! I'm meeting up with my friend Vincent right now. I'm gonna go and grab some lunch. See you down there. I got this green Tesla here. Craziness. I'm here, we're eating at Sino. This is Vince, right here. Awesome, he's the one who sold me my car, my Hyundai Elantra car. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> And now he's like doing his own thing, right? You do like the halo belt. Yeah. Halo belt, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. It's like an LED belt. Yep. It's pretty cool. He has like some pretty good cool videos. I like check them out. He's going grabbing some lunch here. It's gonna be awesome. Check it out. I got my ginger chicken here. Vince got, what'd you get? Um, some type of beef. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I hope it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> so nice out here, like sitting out here. I've never actually eaten out here. Check it out. Pretty cool. It's like LA. I'm getting over, meditating through my yogurt. Then I pull up to the club in a Grover, a Celine bag on my shoulder. Said her, cock that revolver. Her, her, that's that nostalgia. Say, I'm number one, I'm son of a gun. And runner up, that's what they called ya. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my personality traits. If you are in college or even in high school, you might have taken a My Myers-Briggs personality test. It's help, it helps to determine like what you'd like to do in life and careers and stuff like that. Anyway, I've taken it quite a few times and in high school I was an ESTJ. That means extroverted, sensing, thinking, judging. I do feel like recently a lot of you guys were pointing out that I might have switched to an ISTJ, which is instead of extroverted, I got to be a little bit more introverted, which, you know what, I think I might have, but I do feel like I'm like on the in between both of those. I am extroverted around people in public, but I'm introverted when I'm not in public. <laughs> I was reading the personality traits of an ISTJ, and surprisingly, it's really annoying because it's like 100% correct of who I am. I'll read you the description, and does this not sound like me? As an ISTJ, your primary mode of living is focused internally where you take things in via your five senses in a literal, concrete fashion. ISTJs are quiet and reserved individuals who are interested in security and peaceful living. They have a strongly felt internal sense of duty and the motivation to follow through on tasks. Organized and methodical in their approach, they can generally succeed at any task they undertake. ISTJs are very logical, faithful, and dependable. They place great importance on honesty and integrity. They are good citizens who can be depended on and to do the right thing for their families and communities. While they generally take things seriously, they also usually have an offbeat sense of humor <laughs> and can be a lot of fun. They're not comfortable with breaking the laws or going against the rules. Sounds exactly like me. The ISTJ will work for long periods of time and put tremendous amounts of energy into doing any tasks which they see as important to fulfilling a goal. They like to be accountable for their actions and enjoy being in the position of authority. Sounds like me. The ISTJ have tremendous respect for facts. They hold a tremendous store of facts within themselves, which they have gathered through their sensing preferences. That sounds exactly like me. I have so many random facts. This is ridiculous. This is just like describing me. They should, ISTJ should just be called the Ryan. <laughs> Head to the gym. See you there.
Cheater. That thing's in the way. We're attempting the muscle up. <laughs> You're like jumping from the ground. Just got back home. Whenever I have a hard time washing my face after working out, when there's so much blood in my biceps, I always am like, that's a good workout. And I had that today. So bonus. Yeah. I'm heading off to Chipotle right now because I'm hungry. I've been working all day. I don't have any time to actually cook my own meal. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that. Bentley's gone, as you see. He went back to his mom, which is Aaron's ex-girlfriend. So that's why he's not here. That's why, if you're wondering, some vlogs he's here, sometimes he's not. It's because he goes away. <laughs> he only visits for a little bit of time anyway. Yeah, so... Anyway, I'll see you at Potle. It's so busy today. Check it out, they like stacked this up today. More Potle with guac and chips. This time I got steak. Check it out. Ah, I need to catch up on watching CTFXC. Sorry again that I'm not watching any movies. It's because I'm just working on this website. You know what, I decided I can't start my website any lot, like right now it's just i've been staring at it all day long so i am gonna watch my movie this is 40. yeah i just watched a judd apatow movie in this one there's a man and a woman and they have a lot of hardships together and they kind of get angry at each other and then they separate and then they realize that they're good for each other and then they get back together which judd apatow movie am i describing <laughs> Pretty much all of them. Because all Judd Apatow movies I feel like are exactly the same. I feel like they're like the hangover movies where it's pretty much just like a different location or with like a few things that were changed. What did I think of This Is 40? The last one that I had seen was The Five Year Engagement, which felt pretty much the same. It's like they, I think he uses like the same concept and if they kind of just like show real life and it, there's not really a plot. Anyway, I really like Paul Rudd. I really like Jason Segel. There's a lot of people that I really like that always appear in Judd Apatow movies. This one I found to be incredibly just stressful and depressing because they do try to p uh, depict real life situations and just the frustration that everyone has to deal with. <laughs> like all Judd Apatow movies. There is so much fluff, and there's like very little editing. I did feel like this one though was a lot smoother. It didn't feel like such a long movie like the five year engagement, which felt like it was five years long. Um, it wasn't terrible. It was, it was just okay. <laughs> anyway, so my final review out of four stars is two and a half. Okay guys, I'm headed to bed. It's super late. I've just been working on my website as always. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. Guess what? I found out that there's like this contest for Physique Bodywear, which is like the company that like the tanks that I've been wearing recently. And I, I need to get tons of Instagram likes and then I can win the contest, which I think I can do. So you guys, I'm gonna take some pictures. I think someone Bentley did too. You guys can go to my Instagram page, which is vlog after college. 